we have a van. Oh. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so outside the van, we now have a white top. We painted it with a special elastomeric paint. It reflects a lot of UV light, keeps a lot of heat. It's really thick, rolls on really thick. Keeps a lot of heat off. Oh, sorry, yeah, it keeps a lot, <laughs> keeps a lot of heat off. All right, so let's check out the inside of the van. Okay, first things first, we changed a lot. New and improved, we got an actual shoe rack made out of a coat rack. And on this side, we uh, cut it up and our old shoe rack and put in all this dirty dog stuff. So, welcome to our humble abode, the road abode. So, this is our bed. It's about the size of a full-size bed. We used to have a bed that wasn't even full-size. It wasn't even twin-size. It's amazing that it we like even... 30 inches or something? It was a very small bed, and Cody slept on our legs sometimes, which is nice in the winter time. Anyway, so we have a big bed, and this bed actually is cut that comes out and then our table's underneath and that plops onto a... Let's just show you, let's just do that. All right, so this is the cushion. Generally, we'll put it back there on top of the back portion or up against the windows, but this time I'm just gonna put it in the front seat. Okay. The fun part is the table. This is a kind of heavy table, but not impossibly. I just ripped it even more. Did you hear that? So this is how I do it. You align it with the door. And ta-da. Okay, so this is our storage underneath. You wanna look at that? We took storage bins and they fit under here perfectly, which was on purpose? Yes. Okay, it was on purpose. And um, we got shower stuff and refill soap stuff and then food and then shoes backup shoes and then <laughs> art supplies and I have even more art supplies over there so um, we made shelves that hold my art stuff and miscellaneous stuff over here more art stuff cups coffee this is this deserves special attention. This is the AeroPress coffee maker. I seriously, seriously recommend this thing. Alrighty, so these are our spices. This is a shower caddy, and we just sawed off the stuff we didn't need. Snacks, gloves and hats, onions and potatoes and garlic usually go in this basket, along with more tea. That just goes in there. And my mom had a Coolatron cooler hanging around. When we're driving, it powers it. We store a lot of food in there. You want to see the food? Yeah. That's the food. You can get away with eggs being in there, and we have an idea to share with you our food hacks later. If you saw our van last time, I think it was like six months ago that we did a van tour. It was our dishes up here and food. It was just a hodgepodge of random stuff. But we turned it into our clothing storage, and these are Dustin's, and these are mine. And then we store our off-season clothes in a air sucky bag under the bed. Wow, air sucky bag? Let's try to come up with a real name for that. Vacuum seal bag. Nice. Right? <laughs> you know, an air sucky bag. <laughs> it's close enough. Alright, what's that above your head? Oh yeah. We punched a hole through the ceiling. With your mighty force. And it turned out to be a perfect square. It's that Viking blood. Yeah, my Viking blood. And then this just fit perfectly in there. We, we got this guy online. This is a Max Air fan. How you open okay, it. so you open it by twisting this whole thing. And you could have a remote to do this stuff and make it electric. You pay $50 more. Every, Every time I go up to the front and I put my seatbelt on and it's time to go, Dustin's like, can you turn off the fan? I'm like, what the heck? And I never remember every time. You got power from the solar power. Reverse. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> and there's auto. Um, 
so it'll go on and off depending on the degrees that you set. So it's at 78 automatically. Sorry, 70. Yeah, 78, and you can go down 76 if you want, and then it'll. It'll change adjust it. accordingly. It's like, hey, it's not 76 in here, and it'll just speed up. It's yeah. pretty cool. Our lighting is pretty cool, thanks to Dustin. We got these little LED stringer lights, and they're hooked up all the way to the back through our boards here. And we have a little switch here that Dustin installed. And these are super stealthy at nighttime because it lights up this whole place at night so that we can, you know, not trip over things. We don't have to use a flashlight or anything like that. This is like perfect soft light. Besides that, my curtains have been upgraded. I worked pretty hard and to learn what um, pleats are to do that, to do pleats. They're kind of wonky still, but whatever. They are on a track and it actually closes really well. It's just stuck at the moment, but it does close really well. Nobody can ever see us in here. Uh, I did actually curtains for every window and they are rolled up right now on their elastic. It blocks out light really well, but in like pitch blackness, if like we're in a state park, you might be able to see a glow. If we find ourselves in a state park, then we just put on our ambient light and stay stealth. Kitchen time. So this is the Flame King uh, propane stove. I think it was like pretty dang cheap on Amazon. It's like 90. Yeah. This is an awesome tea kettle I got for $9 at Target. It's great. It's small. It's awesome. I made little shelves, really cheap dinky ones with my tea stuff tea stuff everywhere and we, uh, this is a remote holder we put our toothbrushes in more spices our sink and our trusty portable shower for uh, DC plugs you plug it into your cigarette lighter and you have running water so we just created an outlet strictly for the the sink we haven't switched because it's super cute how far does it go out I mean, as far as I want to pull the cord from the tank, but it goes pretty far out. Makes it easy to wash big pots and wash our hair. I've never washed my hair in here. No. Here's our dish rack and our clean water, which we refill at water Primo. dispensers, Primo's at Walmart. And we got a fruit basket that hangs here. There's like a ridiculous amount of plugs that we have just <laughs> absurd yeah. and Dustin made a really cool cabinet that we keep our get out of here there was a fly in our last tour did you remember that no. we put our ukulele up there and some books Dustin constructed it so that it has a nice clip awesome thanks honey you're welcome so one really cool thing under here is our oil storage Dustin uh, just kind of put a wall behind these um, two by fours and we can just store Cholula and there's no Cholula right now because we used it all. <laughs> Sad. We don't have no more Cholula. For cooking utensils and stuff, we uh, got one of these drawers and we just kind of screwed it under here so that we have the knives and lighters and things that we need stuff like that but we don't want to get cut by or have it flying around which is great probably one of our favorite things is our cabinet on sliders we are able to store a wok a cast iron pan a big pot okay under here we have our bowls and um, plates utensils a couple mugs in case we have friends over so one of the wonderful features about a Dodge Ram conversion is how many windows there are. So these vans come with screen windows. Because of the windows across from each other, when we turn the fan on, air just flows right over us and then creates a nice breeze. A super cool breeze. This is so great. This is a thermometer and a humidifier. Hygrometer. Hygrometer. Are you just making that word up? No. That's really good. <laughs> A hygrometer and thermometer and it's super wonderful to know the temperature in here. We also have a garbage can um, and we store our dog food back here for easy access and then there's storage in the back. For dog bowls um, we got a Ziploc, any old container and I just cut a hole in it and it's spill proof now. If we're just driving around it doesn't spill out. 
Um, we didn't change anything up here really except for we reupholstered um, the cab. Uh, you can kind of see our route so far. So we left Naples, Florida back in July and now we have traveled all the way up to... Well, we're in New York right now, but we, we traveled all the way up to Acadia National Forest and then came back down. Now we're gonna go to Chicago. You wanna go to Chicago? That's it. Right? What outside? We... You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? <laughs> so this is our water tank that we use uh, for our sink. This was a total accident. It just happened to fit perfectly. We have our shower hose. It just goes right in there. We just made this little assembly with a cable router and it pops in there. Our outlet for the sink is right here. So we plug it in the shower head. You guys saw that earlier. Uh, so back here we have our outlet. We plug in all of our phones and stuff at night and it also plugs in our lights. These are USB lights. So our bed frame, Michael Schmidt helped us. You've, we've mentioned him many times. This is one of the big projects we did together. He helped us a lot. Um, just two by fours and uh, these are like what, three by ones or something. The foam mattress, it slides around if it doesn't have it, something to sit into. So I just put this railing up because it kept sliding over. Um, our battery is back here. This is a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. Uh, AGM sealed lead acid. Oh, this is the fuse panel. Controls all the electricity in our van. Like all the lighting and the outlets around here. It's all wired to there. Those wires there run up to our charge controller. And uh, this just tells us various information about the battery, like that's the battery voltage. And that runs up to our <coughs> solar panel. All right, up here we have our 100 watt solar panel. It's the thin plastic panel, it's kind of flexible. It's attached with double-sided VHB tape uh, made by 3M. Around the edges we just sealed it with some lap sealant self-leveling uh, that keeps any wind from getting underneath it. And then that over there, our Max Air fan. It's down right now, but it's one of those ones that you open up and it's all weather, so we can have it open in the rain. Even if it's raining outside. All right, now for what you guys have been waiting for the good stuff 24 cylinders in here. All right, running a uh, hydro cooled system, ultra efficient radiator. Wow! Coil, but maxed out engine coolant. If you take a look in there, you see some high performance stuff in there. Totally empty. Um, totally see it. That's how we run hot. Just like I like it. Um, all right, forget this. Let's go inside. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Just kidding. Um, if you're curious on how we made the van, we have our rebuild videos that you can watch. And if you have any episode uh, recommendations, if you have questions yes. and recommendations, please leave that in the comments below. One thing that we've been thinking about sharing is a lot of our hacks. They go from food to electronics to little handy tools uh, yeah. to have on the road really cool stuff that we want to share with you. It's delayed, but it's coming. We're going to talk about the whole solar installation yes. and explanation. So Dustin will be your man. Cheap and easy. No experience required. That cool. sounded suggestive. <laughs> oh like, no. Cheap and easy. <laughs>